Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another video brought to you by the Machamp King. Today we are looking at a supporter card, a Salvatore, or Salvatore. Uh, search your deck for a card that has no abilities, and evolves from one of your Pokémon, and put it onto that Pokémon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. You can use this card on a Pokémon the turn you put it down. So, if you have a Pokémon, and you go turn two going first, or you know, going second turn one, then you can immediately evolve it and attack with it almost. So what is the best Pokemon EX stage one that uh, has no abilities? Well, um, the best one I could think of was Bunnett EX. We have Bunnett EX with its everlasting darkness item locking attack for 30 damage during your opponent's next turn. They can't play any item cards from their hand. So I was thinking, you know what, what could we pair with Bunnett that uses psychic energy that's really, really great and actually does um, have an up match to Charizard and a bunch of other basic um, attackers like Roaring Moon and all that. Well, I was thinking, and oh my gosh, it is a Spathra EX. So I have decided to pair um, the Turbo Bennett Salvatore combo with a Spathra EX with its Dazzling Gaze ability. As long as this Pokemon's in the active, um, your opponent's active Pokemon costs one attack more, one colorless more. So that is essentially the gist of the deck. Let's check out the rest of the deck list. We have a 4 3 split of Shuppet and Banette, 3 Flittle and 3 Espathra. The reason why I play 4 Shuppets is we definitely want to be starting either Flittle or Shuppet because Flittle has free retreat. You can get into the Shuppet or just immediately starting the Shuppet is great as well. We have um, three um, Aspathras and two two Badoo from the Barrel, one Squovit and one Radiant um, Alakazam. The reason why we're playing Radiant Alakazam is you can be fiddling with some damage or um, if you do trap a one of your opponent's Pokemon in the active you can just move the damage counters onto their bench while still item locking them with Banette. So that was one strategy. Obviously four Salvatores, uh, three Iona, one Eerie, because if you play the Eerie, uh, you could be discarding trapped rare candies and stuff out of your opponent's hand to make that even harder for them to evolve. One research for um, Pokegear 3.0s. We definitely want turn two. That's why we play four Salvators and four Pokegears. We definitely want to be doing going second, turn one, Salvator. Boom. There we go. So that's eight outs to uh, Salvator. We also play four Ultra Balls, three Crushing Hammers, so we can um, be discarding a bunch of cards and having that be just more disruption for our opponent. Three Buddy Buddy Puffins. Two hand trimmers. Um, if your opponent starts to get huge hands, um, especially with the item lock, you can hand trimmer them and force them to discard a whole bunch of stuff. Um, or you can do hand trimmer and then eerie. And so if they discard a bunch of stuff um, that aren't items, you can get rid of even more out of their hand. Um, we do play two switch, two counter catcher one super rod the a spec is prime catcher to try and do that locking or to try and just gust up something again <coughs> <coughs> then we have um one earthen vessel two pokemon league headquarters for those basic attackers and seven basic energy that is the deck let's see turbo item lock in action all right this is the Title for the throne, Machamp King against Hollow King. <laughs> Let's see which king takes over. Um, all right, looks like uh, Tails sounds good. Let's see if our opponent lets us go second or not. Yep, our opponent will go first. All right, so if we draw our pretty consistent hand, then. Yeah, we got it, we got it, guys. So we have Shuppet to start. We do have a Flittle, but we got Salvatore. We got the Shuppet, Salvatore, and Energy Attachment. So 
you know, playing, it looks like they are going to rely on rare candies, which is pretty great. Alright, Salvatore for Bonnet. Fantastic. Let's drop an energy. Let's flittle. And let's see what we get with Pokegear. Iona's kind of... Iona's pretty good. I do like the Eerie. I don't know if I want to use it yet, but um, we will do Everlasting Darkness. So, no rare candies for you! <laughs> Alright, let's see how many Stage 1s they actually play. Because they can't find them. Like, they can't search for them with any ball cards. They literally just have to draw into them. Scoop! <laughs> That's what we want! Uh, stage 2 decks that rely on rare candy, scoop it up. Alright, we are playing Ashma Day, and our opponent won the coin flip and decided they want to go first, which is exactly what we want, and it looks like we have the turn 1 going second Salvatore combo. We can buddy buddy Poffin for, um... Yeah, we can turn one Buddy Buddy Poffin for, uh, Shuppet. We have the energy. This is a free retreater, and we already have the Salvatore in hand, so, um, doesn't look like they can do a heck of a lot else other than potentially getting a second Comfy. Oh, nope, they just go for Sableye. So they, they play two Crams, which is interesting, but... Let's get Squovit down, that's totally fine with me. We'll Buddy Buddy Poffin for Flittle. Well, let's actually go for Bidoof. Bidoof Shop. Because we already have a Flittle down. So we will attach Energy, Salvatore, or Bonnet. And we might as well use Crushing Hammer. Ah, uh, darn it. <laughs> so, nothing there, but can we squove it potentially for into something else? Because, hey, I mean, that's something. Everlasting Darkness. So, they can no longer play any items. Um, they can definitely still play their Colrus's Experiment. They can... Um... They can definitely flower select, continue getting things into the lost zone. There's Colrus for four. And yep, they're just ditching their items, it looks like, which is fine. Beach Court for free retreat. Are they just going to swing me with Cram? Yeah, just going to go for it. They're three-shotting me with Cram, though, so it's all fine to me. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Pokemon League Headquarters is fantastic, actually. And uh, Squovit. So let's see if we can get anything. Yo, Squovit for, <laughs> for the win. All right, all right. So we get a Spathra. Um, What do we think? What do we think? Do we need a second Aspathra? Yeah, I don't I don't think we need anything else. So let's just get a second flittle down. And we will item lock them again. So I know because of the ability here of Lost Provisions, ignore all energy cost in this Pokemon's attack, so Pokemon League Headquarters doesn't actually affect Cramorant, so they can still attack for free, but anything, uh, any other basics, it'll, you know, it would, it would affect. Six in the Lost Zone is not great. Um, yeah, they're just getting straight up building Giratina up, which is not great. But, you know, 
I'm hopeful that we can maybe just KO them. Hey, there's another Espathra. So let's nest stash. Crushing hammer is fantastic. Let's go do that again. Tails. <laughs> uh, geez, that's already two, huh? What a waste of deck space when you get tails. All right, so we have multiple things here. Um, I actually don't care about the item lock right now. Let's just poltergeist, knock him out. Boom. So we let up on the item block, which is fine. Um, they're going to KO me anyway, but... They can Colrus, and that'll be eight. And I think that's their third Colrus. It is. I'm ditching a couple of items. They just don't... Oh, I mean, that's a great strategy. You don't want to be... You don't want to have a bunch of items in your hand that you can't play, so you might as well ditch them. So, like, I get it. I get it. And then they fit in a split instantly for two prizes. All right. All right. Well, okay, everyone. Let's see what we can do. So let's uh, drop an energy. Let's see what we can eerie. Maybe maybe we'll want to eerie. Mm. Or maybe Iono, honestly. I don't know, they have a big hand. What do we think? What's, what is more correct? What are we actually trying to eerie out of their hand? Um, we can do two Mirage Gates. That sounds actually pretty nice. Yeah, they already ditched one, so they only have one more. That's actually pretty great. Um, so we'll nest stash. Uh, yeah, shop it, why not? Hand trimmer's fantastic. But the thing is, we did not get a Gust card, so we're swinging into this cram for 60, which is terrible. Alright, alright, let's go. Oof. Lots of energy cards. Uh, they do have a... Uh, what stinks is they do have a, uh, a rod to get back a bunch of energies. So them ditching energies and Pokemon, it's not the end of the world for them. Yeah. But they didn't have... They don't have a Giratina at the moment. So that's good news. If we want to KO a Giratina V... Eesh! Okay, well, they're getting a third KO. If we want to KO the Giratina V, how many energy do we need? So, if they have three energy attached, that's 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Uh, so we're like, we're still two-shotting a Giratina V no matter what. And if we want to Gust... Okay. Well, let's just go after... Well, I mean, we could... Yeah, actually, let's Radiant Alakazam. Move a couple of damage counters preemptively to the Giratina. I want to Iono them to three. Um, can counter catcher up the Giratina. Like to rot in just a couple of energies. 
and the squirrel, but why not? Well, let's see what we can do. Energy, please. Nope. Ah, shoot. <laughs> shoot. Okay. So what are we doing? 150. Nah, let's use our crushing hammer. If we're two-shotting them, we might as well two-shot them. So let's get rid of a grass. All right. Cyball for 120. All right. So it's three to five prizes. We're two-shotting a Giratina, but we got the grass energy off them, which is something. Oof, they're going to cram again. They're just full, swinging full force into this, into us with cram. Not great. All right, the cool thing is though, is we can prime catcher up and go in with a free wrist Bothra. Um, what are we looking for? 120. So yeah, let's move some energies back. I guess onto the cram because if we want to item lock we could item lock and KO at the same time but yeah let's industrious incisors we're good to just hold but we will cyball for the knockout all right we are tied up on prizes and a second Iono that's pretty great they don't even have 10 in the lost zone yet, so we were able to get out, get a KO without uh, doing Giratina V-Star. They have only one more Mirage Gate left, and it could be prized, you never know. But my goal, if they swing with Cram, my goal is to item lock them um, and knock it out at the same time, because that would be great. All right, 60 damage is just enough. But let's see what we can do. I don't want to Iono them, because that, that might put them closer to other things. Um, I'd rather not bench lock myself. I could do... No, I don't want to put Squobit back in play anymore. Let's ditch Flittle and Buddy Buddy. We'll just thin out our hand. Um, hmm. I just don't want to them to item catcher me. Or ca counter catcher me. If they counter catcher me, then that's fine. That's fine, because I have switch, so it's whatever. Um, yeah, let's just sideball for the knockout. Alright, it's cool being 60 damage. Alright, hand trimmer. It worked great the first time we played it. They don't have a big hand, and I don't suspect they ever will. Um, they still need two in order to use... Yeah, this is a basic, which means shred. They'll need three, four energies left to shred. They need three energies even to use Abyss Seeking like this. <laughs> yeah, they just attach and pass. All right. Um, I mean, no need to do anything. We'll just Cyball 120. We only need two prizes left to take, like this. They have to evolve into Giratina V-Star this turn. Alright, what do they play? They do get the Giratina V-Star. So, th they have to... I mean, they could still... They can't... Lost Impact. They have to Star Requiem because of Aspathra EX's attack. So if they want to Star Requiem, that's fine, but yeah. Alright, which means they weren't able to get rid of energies off of their hand, or off of their Pokemon. 
So let's see what they got. And let's confirm how much damage we're doing. All right, so we are doing 150. All we need to do is move 10 damage from the Crammer Ant onto the Giratina. 140 left, 150, and we Cyball for the win. GG's, Ashmaday. <laughs> All right, GG's. We gotta see a little bit of everything. <laughs> Okay, we won the coin flip against F12, or F12, the SH. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, no, we do not want to go first. We definitely want to go second. And uh, let's see if we can get the turn one item locked down. We need three cards. We need... Um, okay, we just need an energy. We have the Buddy Buddy Puffin. We have a free retreat in Flittle. We just need an energy card to get off the turn one item lock can we top deck either one of our eight items? we have seven energy and earthen vessel and we are playing lugia mincino all right okay so they're gonna get archaeops out Hopefully, they don't get, you know, the two Archaeops Ultra Ball combo. I'd like to them for them not to be able to get them in the discount somehow. Whoa, they grab Lugia V-Star with that. Okay, well, let's see. Heavy Ball for the Lugia. You should have... Okay, that right there is totally a misplay already. You always Hisui and Heavy Ball to see what you have in the prizes because that'll tell you exactly what is in the prizes instead of having to search your deck to see what's in the prizes so you check your prizes with that first and then you can capturing aroma to check the deck but hopefully they don't have any discards really Jet energy. Okay, so they can't, they still can't read the wind. They, this is their first turn. Can we get a energy? Yes, we got an energy. Woo! Um, Bidoof, shup it. There we go. Salvatore, Bourbonette. We will energy. Free retreat. Pokemon League headquarters. And can we get a heads on Crushing Hammer? Boom! <laughs> we got the perfect turn two, it looks like. And then we item lock them for 30 damage. And we already have the Babarel for next turn, so we can continue to draw. So unless you read the wind, which you'd have to have two energies to do... Or you'd have to stadium bump, then read the wind to get any sort of Archaeops in play or in the discard. Because you can't discard them with Ultra Balls and stuff. I've item locked you. So it has to be with the read the wind attack. What are you going to do? Re okay, reversal, but still. We'll give, okay. I mean, unless you're just going to manually take four turns, or five turns, well, I mean, not four turns, four turns, because um, it's basic only, but unless you're going to manually attach for four turns. Aha, uh -huh, heroes. Oh, no! Let me play my barrel first. <laughs> uh, that's not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so we have the Ultra Ball as well, so that's great. That's pretty good. All right, my turn. If we keep up, keep up this item lock, then our opponent can't do anything. They don't play a ton of items, so I don't want to 
Let me spread out the energy first. I'll crushing hammer again. See what we got. Put our tails on that. Um, I'll I don't need Buddy Buddy Puffin, so I'll actually ditch those for a girl. I don't want to be ditching my switch because people have a strategy you could use is to like gust up the B girl, and that way you, you know, stop the item lock. So, um, okay, shuff it, shuff it is fine with me, and Iono is also fine with. Me. And, uh, you know what? Why not? We'll just use, we'll keep up the pressure, use our third crushing hammer, get the reversal off. Wonderful. And, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yep, sounds good to me. I, uh, I'll actually, yeah, let me actually play this Badoof down. Everlasting Darkness. I was, okay, I was wondering if I wanted to play the Bidoof down or not to benchlock myself, but the only thing I would be risking is, you know, just the Gust play or not being able to Radiant Alakazam, which this has 170 HP, like that ain't happening. Like maybe I could do it with this Minchino to keep passing damage back and forth, but Eventually, I do want to KO this Lugia V-Star. Okay, so, but net. Let's attach to Flittle and we'll research. Sounds good. Double Aspathra. Sounds good to me. We'll just keep up the pressure. Everlasting darkness. Unless they play another Lugia V down. I wonder what I would risk by just poltergeisting. After one more turn of everlasting darkness, they'll have 160 HP. So I would only need three trainer cards to be in. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item card. This is <coughs> prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent done to the Pokemon this is attached to the area. So that doesn't help. Yeah, no, no, no. I still item lock, obviously. Yeah, they're still setting up quite a bit. <laughs> but after one more turn of Everlasting Darkness, I could try and get I could try and uh, poltergeist them for the knockout so I definitely don't want to eerie eh, maybe I do yeah if you're gonna hide from me like that I don't know maybe I do um no it's their hand isn't big enough to do that yet mm -hmm. Yeah, just in case. I will ditch two of those for my other Bibarel. Come on. <laughs> and uh, I know we're only at 17 cards left in the, in the way of, you know, our deck, but we'll keep up the Everlasting Darkness. By the way it's going, they only have one bench spot to play Arceus with, or Archeops with, and they have zero left in the discard. They've wasted four energy cards because they've retreated this Lugia. There's a fifth energy, but like, why? Oh, they read the wind! Whoa! Did they get an Archeops in the discard? No! <laughs> they did not! All right, let's eerie them this time. Ah, just a nest ball. Okay, so they might, they're probably gonna boss us up to stop the item lock, but like, why? All they have are energies in hand. So we do have a couple of switch cards left, that's totally fine. We will Everlasting Darkness them. 
just keep up with the item lock. They have two trainers in hand, so we'd only be doing 120 damage. But quite a bit of energies. They had three energies. Yeah, Eerie just wasn't going to be a total use of anything. They need four special energies to KO our Pokemon. Yep, yep, yep. They're going to boss stall. That's what I need. That's what I... Play the switches for. <laughs> uh, and then they read the wind. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Man, Eerie could have really, really helped them. Alright, let's switch back into the... Um... Into there. Okay. So if I own them to six... They'd have six cards. What's the chances they get two Archeops and a way to discard them? Um, and a way to discard them. All in one turn. All off of six cards. Mm, they would just need... Eh, let's, let's try it. You know what? Let's try it. We need them to have three trainers in their hand. Oh, I could totally Prime Catcher. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to Prime Catcher the Lugia V with our other Bennett. Okay. Right now, that's 190. Um, I don't, I don't want to attach this yet because I don't want to give away our strategy. So we will Everlasting Darkness them. 30 more. So now they only have 160 um, HP left. So if we get three train, if we hit three trainers off of seven, could be supporters or anything, then we could knock them out. Oh no! Fine, fine. You're gonna read the wind again. Is it an Archeops? No, it's a nest ball. All right, all right. Oh, I really want to gust them up, but... I can't... I don't think I can release the item lock. When do I release the item lock? I guess I can release it right now. All right, Poltergeist. Oh, they do, they have it. They have the Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball combo to at least get one in the discard. Hey, I got a hand trim. They're going to trim their own hand with Ultra Balls, though. So, unfortunately... I don't think they're going to be able to take the KO, though. If they swing... Because if they only get one in the discard... Then they attach, that's two, and then three, four. Oh, they, they could, they could. They, they, they totally can. But they, but the Archeops, yeah, yeah, they're gonna need, hopefully they didn't top deck an Archeops. Oh, okay, okay. So here's an Archeops, and then the Ultra Ball to get it into the discard. Yeah, double Ultra Ball. <laughs> yep, the double Ultra Ball play. How many energy are they down to? They're down six energy without even being able to attack me. But they did get another Cinchino down. All right, 2,100 hit points. Shoot! <laughs> yeah, they can do that, because one double turbo would make it go from... Oh, Explorer's Guidance. Are you going to try and get two Archeops in the, in the discard? Yikes. 
Hopefully it's just a bunch of energy. Oh no, they got a second Dark Eops. Shoot. All right, they were able to summoning. Okay, so we might actually lose this game now because I was hoping, I was really saying that they would only get one in the discard because now they can Primal Turbo 2 and then preemptively start gathering another one up. Ugh. Oh, that's that's too many. Uh oh, you you ditched another double turbo. So that's only gonna be 240. Uh-oh. You did that wrong. Unless you're gonna waste another energy. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. See, you wasted another energy. 310, uh-oh, you did that wrong. Okay, so five energy. Let's see what we got. So that's 270? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because this counts double turbos. <laughs> All right, so let's preemptively... Let's do Radiant Alakazam. And... I like the idea of hand trimming. Hand trimming. Because that'll discard one card out of their hand. I just didn't want to use hand trimmer when... Um when they potentially didn't use Summoning Star yet. So let's do... I like the... I like attaching to a Spathro, honestly. How many Ionos do we still have? That might be our last Iono, so I'm gonna save it. Um, I will the barrel for one. Squovit, sure, okay. All right, Cyball for 270. Yeah, I Iona wouldn't have done anything anyway, so that's also why. But okay, four to three prizes. They are down their ace spec. They are down 13 energy cards. And they're going to need four energy two more times to KO this. It is not looking good for them. Scoop! There we go! <laughs> That's what I thought! <laughs> Perfect timing to uh, release the item lock. GG's. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching the Turbo Salvatore Bennett EX deck. You can item lock them, going second, turn one, and it's, you know, easier sailing than before. For the rest of the game or until you release the item lock that's you definitely need some switch cards because you don't want to be having your opponent get out of it but thank you all for watching please please like and subscribe and until next time this is the champ king you all have a nice day peace